people would never, ever, ever say another word in the chat or say anything about this at all. Well, yeah. in China, they say that the guys This distortion that has come down to us from people writing down what these people had said is less evident in the Upanishads because there they state all the time, this is what we have heard from the wise. And they do their utmost to bring exactly what they have heard communicated in language. Now that is also, even if it's written, it's also taken out of context. And the context yeah. is kind of lost. So it's, it's a fragrance of something. But in a Even lot of traditions, all that, yeah, the all distortion words, yeah. is enormous. Like in the New Testament, it's totally distorted to see that Jesus never existed. He apparently existed as an historic person, but he never existed. See, that's why it's stunning, just this is it, is, is enough. I mean, this is it. And you that's can enough. turn it around and you can say, okay, any knowledge you have, any experience you get, any discovery, all of that is part of the Frank story. It's not this at all. It's happening within this, but it's all part of the me story of Frank. If you mm. see angels, if God himself or herself comes down to visit you it's part of the story it's part of the eye trying to cope with the situation where it really doesn't want any of that shit it's seeking for its own absence and that is an impossibility yeah so one one day Did you see though i i mean all of the words of seeking for its own absence and liberation and getting there and or you know understanding or wisdom or whatever all of those suggest something and um they still you know that's what see that's what yeah. Maybe it's just a passion I have for um, fucking freedom. <clears throat> but uh, this is it. End of story. Yeah. Then, and if you're, looking for if you're looking for loads of stories, you find them all over. All over the place. All over the place. But this is what you're looking for. It's, it's so, totally it's so It's so poor. So poor. Mm. But it's the only thing I'd say... Uh, yeah, it's just the only thing if I, uh, it's the only thing to come out. But then you, I would never say, I'm never going to say anything to anybody. It's difficult because when we are communicating with others, we can communicate without using language. We can paint, we can silently go fishing, we can, we can do things together. We are doing things, we are communicating without using words too. Mm. But once you start using words, it's very, very easy to get the idea that when I say this limitless freedom, that this is something yeah, exactly. that you can get. This limitless freedom does not exist. Yeah. It's simply a word. But I but, like that word much better <laughs> than other words. It's just, it is, is also it, a word. it's kind of a juicy word, limitless freedom. It's like boundless, unfathomable, everything or no I would thing. rather that, listen that's, to someone talking about limitless freedom than someone talking about becoming enlightened or reaching the ultimate knowledge or the ultimate experience and all those things. Real, I mean, those that I take my, the liberty to call real people in the sense that they don't exist, they talk about limitless freedom. All the others, teachers and everything, talks about things you can achieve, thought, talks about things that you can accomplish, that you can become, that you can release from within, that you can realize who you really are and all those things, all those lovely things 
that mm -hmm. makes make people pay for the next stage or the next level or the next seminar and the blah 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 blah. Yeah, it, it goes seem to on me and anymore. On. All that, yeah. There is nothing to sell here. There is no things for sale. Andrew Cohen, no I saw Andrew can buy. You, and, you Andrew Cohen are. came up on my feed there the last day with something something non duality eight eight steps to. <laughs> I reported him to Facebook as being as <laughs> selling something that wasn't true. <laughs> you have to, you see, if you want to get rid of him off your feed, you have to kind of give a reason for it. And I said that it was false. I don't really give a fuck, but he was just annoying me coming well, up. Well, those books about levels and how to get to the next level and the eight signs for or the eight characteristics for an enlightened or the 10 or the 20 or uh, these lists are everywhere. And when they are published as books, they really sell because people feel that they understand something that the, it can help them in a positive way towards becoming enlightened themselves or that's becoming the, the ultimate. Though, isn't it? Like that's nobody's doing anything though, really. Yeah, yeah, really, yes. But then we can also, in language, talk about it in a way that it seems. We can we report them to Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's just happening too. I was delighted. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> well, you see these things everywhere. So I, I have no idea, no thought about this being limitless freedom either. But in, yeah. in communication, I like that word, limitless freedom or boundless freedom. I, I like the word freedom because it, it, it kind of indicates something that it, it has got nothing to do with anything. Yeah, it's amazing. It doesn't so, lead to a certain knowledge. It doesn't lead to a certain set of values, a certain morale. It doesn't lead up to anything. It's simply freedom, baby. That this is it. Yeah, you can see in some ways a lot of the words that I've heard over the years. As, as long as there's something, then there are something there. There are things out there. When there's nothing, you know, there is the everything. But even that is a load of shit. Like, but it, 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 it no, the the <laughs> it's all a load of shit. Like too. Every last little bit that we've talked about here. <laughs> well, as oh, long as you can God. come up with something, then then it sells because then it is something that people want. I mean, years ago it was kind of popular to say that I'm a mystic, and I think it's going to be popular to say that, well, I I'm nobody. I mean, yeah. it's kind of fashion. It's kind of spiritual fashion. It will be picked up by a lot of the teachers what Richard and Tony and Kenneth and Andreas and, and Jim is, is saying, they will pick it up and adjust their message and kind of connect to it in a way that it's compatible with their own teaching. Mm. I, I've seen that already. Yes, yeah, so your man's doing it. Your man's doing it. What's his face? Andrew Cohn. So that's what he's doing. Um, the, the universally enlightened. Oh, some lark, yeah, some course that he's doing. I was, I was going to see could I find. I mean, it. he's the he's the first one in the whole history of mankind who has become universally enlightened. Yeah, Buddha was only enlightened. Fucking good luck to him, man. He's he's great. I mean, <laughs> if somebody else wants to join him on that trip, go ahead. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much more stupid can it get? Or how much more ignorant can it get? It's absolutely, totally absurd what he is saying. Oh yeah, it's called Intersubjective Non-Duality, a part course, sure. Oh, look. Well, non-duality is just a word. It's, it's just a word. It doesn't exist. Anyway. It's a useful word at times, but I don't like it very much. It's 
Well, it's, indicates. It's, all, it's now laden down with loads of other meanings, whereas there was a bit of a flatliner, but it's probably starting to be laden down with lots. But like any word, though, any word, once you open your mouth, I think it's over. Well, it, it, in one sense, when we kind of live now, we have to communicate from the current situation, in the current situation. If you take quotes from 2,500 years back or even 100 years back and try to imply that as a kind of message, it will not be received by people. It has to be in tune with what is happening. I don't know, yeah, I mean... So, the, so yeah. in a sense, there are new words created or coined to try to cope with the situation to get this message through that there is nothing. See, that's the thing, though. That suggests that there is a message and that somebody wants to get it through if you're trying to even new, new, use new words, you know. I, I'm, I, I'm I communicating mean, in, in language, Frank, and, and to say that... Which are, but I, I'm communicating in language as well, like... Um, yes. So all I'm saying is uh, you're damned whatever way. It'll always be it'll always be seen in some way. There'll always be some meaning put on something. And it'll always, when there's somebody, it'll always seem like there's somebody over there who knows something. And so therefore, I'm sure there's some, you know, therefore I, should, I need to get over the river to the other side of the, of the river to be able to know what they know. And, well, I, you know, no matter I what. don't entirely agree. If you ask people going to meetings with Kenneth, if that is so, they will not say that that is correct. They, I think they're being they starved. Are there. But I think yeah, they I are mean, there. it still seems, they will still look at Kenneth and go, Kenneth's, Kenneth's there. They will, no matter what, if you're seeking, it's impossible not to think yeah, but there is that somebody's a, got something. Uh, but I mean, there, in the communication, when it is uncompromising, it appears to me that that starves that movement of the human being to try. It starves all of that as much as is possible. And they come away maybe with that feeling of nothing, a pure disappointment. And maybe in that disappointment, maybe there's something. But they're utterly starved. But I'm saying that still, it, it's in meetings, it's still as much as is you can do and speak and whatever, it still seems that somebody has got something and I need to get there. Even if the motivation and the communication is designed and whatever, it comes out uncompromising, it still will appear as that. And that's what's happening to those. Look, that can't be avoided. And so therefore, the most minimal language in a way is always, it comes back to like, you know, any of them will start the meeting and go, it's still this. And now we can go on and chat about everything else and maybe that will happen and maybe a sharing will happen, but there's no purpose to try and convince you of anything because yes, it's already over. Of, yes, as a part of the, the still ongoing seeking because the eye sense is still there, that is correct, that that is the impression that people, when they walk out of these meetings, carry with them. But at the same time, they have heard people stating that this is not so. So they have, they have two different perspectives. And that other perspective, I think what, what, what I saw when I was in, in this meeting with Kenneth and a uh, little, little talk with some of these people, is that it's not entirely that version that they are disillusioned, uh, what, what is it called? Disillusioned, disillusioned, um, starved. Yeah, starved. Mm. It's also joyful. They really enjoy it because they sense that there is something other than what is being communicated in words. This, I, these statements that there is nothing there I think at the same time. I think what it is is that for the most part, we carry these stories on our shoulders all the time and we're ready to launch into it that uh, we're ready to offload that uh, story with anybody and everybody. And I think that perhaps in these meetings, perhaps because the story is not entertained, they realize there might be the freedom in, fuck it, it's great. <coughs> I don't have to fucking start telling you, giving you my elevator picture, talking to you about 
how I'm going to get there. All of that is, is, um, it's just, that's my sense of it anyway, is that the story is okay. not entertained. From, so then, from my then, perspective, it, it is an opportunity for people to hear this message that there really is no you. I'm not saying that that is important for people to hear, and I'm not saying that that will cause the no self to appear. I'm not saying that. I'm simply saying, if you look at it in another way, with all these teachers talking about enlightenment to their disciples for 10, 20, 30 years, how many of their disciples have become enlightened? Yeah, I would if definitely agree with that. If you look at Tony Parsons, Richard Sylvester, Kenneth Madden, Jim Newman, you will you will suddenly see that there are quite a lot of people that that in language now that are this no self. There are there are quite quite a lot of people actually. If you look at these enlightenment projects going on in, in the spiritual industry, you can ask, for example, who with Moji as a master has have become enlightened under his guidance? Why do they not list that as kind of credentials that these teachings really work? You can get from here to enlightenment. We have Robert, we have Bertha, we have Peter, we had Susan. Why do they never do that? Because these people do not exist. What exists is that when people go to these teaching schools, they get a kind of master's degree, that they are allowed now to have their own groups and do their own thing. Except they don't have to sit around Muji, around this and that kind of master. But with these people, with Tony, Richard, Kenneth, and Andreas and the gang, there is a total freedom that they refer to each other, they talk about each other. I have no difficulties, no problems talking about these people to whoever, but there are visible people that this nothingness has kind of happened to. You can single them out, you can easily find them. And that says to me, indicates to me, that this message that there is no you really kind of has an effect. Not that, not that it has an effect in the sense of a cause and effect, but it seems to be more likely to happen in that kind of environment than within a teaching. And regardless of where you are, you don't exist of not being there. That happens to a lot of people. But in, in a sense, they don't realize that now you are not here. I mean, oh, it's difficult to say in language. They, they get these glimpses where the eye sense simply drops. And, and there is a kind of wonder, what was that? That happens. And from what I can see is that when people have heard this message that there is no I, maybe these glimpses can bring it permanently about. So that the, the I sense really drops. It's a real contradiction. I, I, I kind of hear where you're going, but it is, it is a real contradiction. It's a real, it, it is, it's a real it paradox, is, and it, it, is, is, it is going down a bit of a story as well, which is totally fine. It is in, in magical land. It, 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 could, it could appear like that. We, in magical land. I, I fully agree with you. I'm trying to kind of come up with an explanation why this seems to be so successful with Tony, Richard, Andreas, and all those guys and girls. Because they, see, are, they are presenting this message clearly that there is no I, there is no me. 
but that's because there's nobody seeing anybody. That's because yes. if, if you want to say because nobody's seeing anybody, so they're not being seen. It's not like they're recognized as being somebody. There's already nobody. Yeah. So if there's already, already no one, there's already yes. already no one. So no one then it's, is, oh, just, it's already no. over now. <laughs> It's yes. already over in that sense, yes. though. Yes, it, it is a paradox. Once you start talking, it's a paradox right there. Yeah. There's yeah. no way around that in language. It is a paradox, yes. But these things are out in the open. Anyone can log into the internet or go and meet Kenneth Madden or whoever. They are there. They are available in that sense. It's, it seems like this sort, uh, that uh, the agenda, uh, agendaless message is out there. Was still agendalessness, the yes, total agendalessness. There is yeah. no agenda. And maybe that's felt, maybe that's felt. And maybe you could, you see, using words like unconditional love, but maybe that is because there's no conditions put on anybody to be anything, you know? Um, and it's just, it's life is a scene. So then, how can somebody be entertained? So there is no one already, it's already seen, like it's uh, already it's over for it's uh, funny, it's, it's already funny. over for everyone, like isn't it? Yeah. It's already this, and it's already what's happening, it's, and nobody can discover that. But you can't, yes, it's not like not one person has, it's just there's already nobody, so then it's over. Hmm. Richard opens one of his meetings by saying that this is nothing that you can understand. You cannot know this. It's simply totally unknowable. You will never be able to understand this. So we are all going to fail. Yeah. I really enjoy when he's saying it like that, presenting it like that. We are all going to fail because there is no way that you can find out or discover this that would mean separating yourself from it in a total dualistic way. Oh, yeah. I simply enjoy when he's talking like that. And yes, there is no you, no me. There is nobody everywhere. Nothing exists, blah, 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 blah. But then seemingly we can have fun. And Yeah, you can still dive in and chew the cud and whatever. Mm -hmm. And this body-mind still enjoys some even cold Irish whiskey or Irish coffee. And, and it's simply enjoyable watching the flowers, the butterflies. It's a lovely place, apparently. This, the Garden of Eden, it's good crack, all right. I, yes. better, go, I better go now. And um, I think I might have, we might have lost that entire recording of that pure gold we came up with because of the internet there. We may not have, but... Oh, I thought it was pure silver. <laughs> no, it's pure gold, and it's, it, it wasn't deleted. Bleak, lead. <laughs> Pink. Oh, lead. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, led to this. That lead that caused... But there is a total oh. frustration coming up, because once there is a kind of sensing that there is nothing one can do. It's totally hopeless because it's unknowable and un unfathomable, as you said. And, and I say, it's like you're facing a lead wall. There is no way you can get through it, but really it does not exist and neither do you. I mean, but that's it though, you see, play with. there's already no one. Already no one. It's already it's no never, one. It's already been, over. Yeah, it's already over because there never was. And then you, somebody might say, well, I want to know that it's, there's already no one. <laughs> well, well, this, then, but that's, this is that's, kind that's of, just what's happening, though. I mean, this, yeah. it's not, if, if this could, if you could control all this, ooh. Th th this that. is kind of risky, but I would say that there is a, a kind of sensing, and I use the word with a set, sensing. There, there is a kind of sensing by no one 
but this is this. W when this, uh, when, oh, it's language. W when, when this I sense no longer is here, there is a sensing of this totally being so. There is no need for an approval from anyone. Mm. Because th it's absolutely 100% this and nothing else but this. But it is so totally obvious that I, I just call it a sensing, but there is no me sensing it to be so. But still, I I'm simply saying this to indicate that there is a kind of awareness, but it is not an awareness that arise from anyone. And that's a really fucking stupid thing to say, really. But yeah, it's it's language. Yeah, nobody ever sees this, so. And only to communicate this Thanks in the all. form of an apparent message is fucking boring. What, what is? Is I don't know if it is. I think it's not boring. I think it's amazing. This this is what is happening, happening apparently, as it appears that this is playing with all its forms in every way. You are looking this way, that way, apparently. It is this, through this form of this apparent Robin that is holding this pencil and, and grabbing this bottle of water. It is this playfulness, apparently, moving within itself. That's why we say that things are happening. But in reality, things are not happening because there is, there are no things. So even yeah. that is a paradox. Should we, what, how the fuck do we keep talking about it? <laughs> it appears to be what is happening. So what, yeah. is, what is apparently happening is that you live with your family, with your friends, with your colleagues, with your neighbors, you enjoy the butterflies, you enjoy the, the blue sky, or you enjoy the rain, or whatever. I mean, in a sense, it is to live life in this total freedom. That but you're not. I know these are only words, but you see, you're not living a life, though. You're not living you're not a life. Even, you're not even dead. Who? You, you don't you're, exist. Yeah, there isn't even life. <laughs> There, there isn't, isn't even, even life. There isn't even life. So you're not there living your life. And you mightn't there, enjoy the blue sky tomorrow. That'll be nice if enjoyment happens. <laughs> there, there is not even life. And there is not. There is no death. There is no one living an apparent life. But, but this apparent of things happening is enjoyable. The only show in town. Yes. And the tickets never sell out. <laughs> right, big dog. I better go here. Okay. <laughs> the pleasure was all mine. Oh, it was okay. To talk <laughs> <to you. clears throat> it was all mine. It's a lot of babbling, but it's it's not easy in language. But you see and understand that the complications arise from using language most of the time. I think the complications arise when there's somebody. <laughs> Otherwise. It's hard for people to accept when, when they listen to Kenneth Madden or to me or anyone else that there really is no one there. That's really hard. It's not hard. It's impossible. When there's somebody, there's the world. When there's nobody, there's everything. It's not even everything. It's just what's happening. It's just what's happening. I was trying to be kind to you. <laughs> I said it's hard. Yeah. Get it's impossible. It. It's, it's wholly impossible. It's totally impossible.
Because once once there is a sensing that there is nobody there, then there is nobody here either. That's what happened with my son when he sensed that there is no Tony. Then then immediately there was a sensing that there is nobody here either. Yeah, but nobody sensed anything. Nobody so. sensed anything. Mm. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> See you on the other side. Say hello to the kids and your, your wife. We'll I will nice indeed. If you say hello. I will indeed. Take it easy, big dog. Okay. Bye-bye. See bye. you later. Bye-bye.